Voters in Iceland have rejected a plan to pay over $5 billion to Britain and the Netherlands to reimburse customers of a failed Icelandic Internet bank. Ninety-three percent of Icelandic voters oppose spending the money. The $5.3 billion owed represents more than 40 percent of Iceland's gross domestic product. Britain has warned Iceland that it risks becoming an international pariah if it does not pay the money back and the IMF is delaying a bailout package for Iceland. But Icelandic voters overwhelmingly rejected the threats from the international community. I think that what's happened is that people have said that they are not willing to accept um, being put into any sort of debt slavery. People want to have um, a fair, uh, a fair and equitable result from this entire crisis.